Okay, so see, I thought I was going to be able to do one of those cute little, like, vlog type videos and, like, show me waking up and doing all my things. Yeah, it did. It just didn't work. So I'm just going to talk. I'm just going to talk. So when I wake up, the first thing that I do is my spiritual practice, but it also grounds me into my body. And as a manifesting generator, being in my body is something that's very, 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 very important. So the first thing that I will do is breath work between 30 to 60 minutes of just breath work. Um, then I will move my body. I will usually do some chanting and then I will do some type of meditation. The next thing that I need to, the, the, the next thing that I will do is ask myself, okay, is this a learning day? Is this an experimentation day? Or is this a creation day? Because me being a manifesting generator, me being a three, five, there are a few different ways that I could go about, you know, doing things in my day. I'm either learning about something, I'm experimenting, experimenting, I was about to say experimentating, experimenting, or I'm actually creating something, a program, a, a guide, a challenge for my Facebook group. I, it's usually one of those three things that I spend my days doing. Once I figure out, okay, what kind of day is it going to be, I then go into specific journal prompts that I have created for myself that incorporate my definition, my profile, you know, my energy typing, MG, and just kind of figuring out, okay, what feels most exciting for me to do today? How do I want to share my excitement? How do I want to inform the people around me what I'm doing? All those kinds of things. I talk about that a little bit more on my YouTube channel. Once I've either written down or talked out what exactly I want to do, I then set timers for myself. Because I'm an NG, MG, and I like to switch between a lot of different things, I give myself an hour for tasks. So I'll set my timer for an hour, I'll work, I'll do my little tinkering, and then if I feel like I want to continue with that same task, I'll set another timer for another hour. If I feel like I want to move on to something else, I give myself the opportunity to do so. And I'll just set another timer for another hour, work on the other thing, and then the process just starts over and over. I also have to set timers for eating, making sure I'm drinking water because I can get so enveloped in whatever I'm doing, I will forget to do these things. Also me being an NG, I also have to make sure I get some type of vigorous exercise in so I can release some of, well, most of my energy so I'm able to sleep at night. I usually do this through either yoga or Zumba or I'll take like a really long walk, anything to like get my blood flowing and get the energy out of my body. My entire day is usually just me responding to what is exciting to me and then also informing people along the way what I'm doing so that if anyone is interested in hopping on with me, they have the ability to do so. I actually talk about all of these elements a lot more in my generator experience course. So if you're interested in learning more about being a generator or an MG, go ahead and click the link in my bio to sign up.